Voters in the Central Valley will have the rare opportunity to vote in a new member of Congress. Now, that seat has been long held by former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who is retiring at the end of the year. As KTVU political reporter Greg Lee tells us tonight, the race to replace him is off to a chaotic start. The frenzy to replace longtime California Congressman and former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy continues. Earlier this month, McCarthy announced he would leave Congress at the end of the year, ending 17 years representing the Central Valley. Do not be fearful if you believe your philosophy brings people more freedom. The news set off a scramble. The deadline to enter the race has passed, and the candidate McCarthy endorsed is currently legally barred from running. Everyone would sort of agree that he is the expected heir of Congressman McCarthy. He's a prolific fundraiser. He's represented the, the, that community for a number of years. And so he's best positioned, I believe, to, to win the seat. Assemblymember Vince Fong entered the race after another McCarthy ally, State Senator Shannon Grove, chose not to run. One problem, he already filed paperwork to run for re-election to his assembly seat, and the Secretary of State said it's too late to change, writing, state law prohibits any candidate from filing nomination papers for more than one office at the same election. Fong vowed to challenge the decision, writing, I will fight the Secretary of State's misguided decision and do whatever it takes to give voters in our community a real choice in this election, because the voters choose our elected officials, not Sacramento. The California GOP president is accusing the Democrat elections chief of political foul play, writing, the Sacramento Democrat machine should not get to put their thumb on the scale and determine what Republican candidates who appropriately followed the law should get to run for office. Nearly a dozen other people have declared their candidacy for the race, including David Giulio. The Trump-aligned Republican threatened to sue if Fong was allowed in. With or without Fong, the candidates need to get in front of voters and fast. Longtime Central Valley political expert Tal Eslick says the condensed timeline favors those with name recognition and cash to burn. Resources are going to be key because it's a sprint. So those that can self-fund, those that can fundraise quickly, it's sort of always the case in a campaign. I would say it's more important in a short campaign. The Secretary of State will release a list of certified candidates on December 28th. In the newsroom, Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.